And Rick, he finished ninth, but it was just enough. Chase, can you tell us how do you even process, you know, do what you got to do and race and try to find your way to the playoff uh, getting through here at the end of these races? Yeah, it was, uh, man, what a wild day. I told my guys before we even took the, the initial green of the race, there's a difference between thinking we can move on and knowing we can move on. And I knew that we could move on. You know, this team just uh, never gives up. I told him I was never going to give up. And, uh, it took every bit of it there at the end, you know, with, to be easily in. Then that debris caution comes out and, you know, still thought we had a really good shot at making it in and get wrecked on the back stretch and just crazy at the end of these races, especially the road course race, just how much can change so quickly. So, yeah, I had no idea we were even going to have a shot. I mean, truthfully, I was kind of knew that we were probably out and I saw the two wreck and I was like, oh, well, maybe there's still a chance. And we had so much pressure tires and everybody Johnny pumped them way up to qualifying pressures and this let me go attack and kind of have the ball in my hands so yeah just uh, super proud of this race team uh, pretty cool day for performance racing school they're based right here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway at the Roval so got a lot of laps around this place in those cars and uh, yeah just really cool day and uh, looking forward to the round of eight it's a lot of really really good race tracks for me and if we can get to Phoenix we know we got a good car there too so yeah just uh, overall awesome day proud of my team and uh, yeah just move on. And I'm thinking this road course thing for a kid that started out on the sprint cars and a dirt track, uh, not bad uh, attainment for you on this type. Yeah, it's 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 weird how it seems like dirt guys, especially sprint car guys, you know, you look at Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Larson, uh, Bell, obviously, a lot of the sprint car guys, it's just you're such, you know, slipping and sliding so much, you got more power than you can typically put down. It's it's really similar to sprint cars. So, yeah, the, the sprint car background, I think, definitely helps whenever you come to a place like this. And, uh, yeah, cool to see a sprint car guy win and another one move on in the playoffs. Chase Briscoe fans uh, unite and love to celebrate this guy. He'll move on to the round of eight.